Fortunately, today we have the internet, we can easily record every little thing from our life and upload it to the network, where it will remain forever. Future generations will be able to see everything that is happening in our lives at the moment. But for us in the present, everything is not so simple. We have to spend thousands of hours on research to find out what happened in the past. And with this we can learn about how things could have been. Progress in the future led to obtaining chemical data from the surface, and we immediately received several surprises. During this study, scientists discovered that there are areas in space where several galaxies disappeared, and then galaxies with trillions of stars began to disappear, and this baffled scientists. I am glad to see you on the Space Op channel. Today we will talk about what happened, why galaxies disappeared into the abyss and what new changes may mean for our future. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and click on the bell to be the first to watch our new videos. The team and I really appreciate your support. Well, I wish you a pleasant viewing. We are constantly faced with questions about our environment that we have yet to fully understand. This discrepancy is a geological mystery that has baffled scientists for years. This is a literal gap in the geological record, a period of time from 100 million to a billion years, during which there is almost no evidence of geological activity on Earth. The thought of this just terrifies us, because we are not talking about a year or two. We are talking about millions of years that are simply lost, and not a single person or record gives us any idea of what was happening at that time. In most cases, such things are theories, but in this case there is a lot of evidence that makes it clear that this really happened. A greater discrepancy was observed in different breeds around the world. In some places this is just a gap in the geological chronology, while in others this huge gap in the geological record is known as one of the most significant discrepancies ever discovered. The rocks that formed during this time period were almost completely destroyed by erosion, leaving almost no evidence of their existence. Plus the rocks that really survived from this period show clear signs of weathering and erosion, indicating that they were exposed to the elements for a long time. One theory states that the Earth experienced a period of extreme weathering and erosion, as a result of which almost all existing rock formations were destroyed. Another theory is that the Earth underwent a large-scale tectonic event that led to the destruction of existing rocks and the formation of new rocks. It turns out that the cosmos works in exactly the same way, while, as we observe on Earth, there are great differences in space. There is a great void. This vast empty space in the universe that scientists have yet to fully explore. This region in space is an area almost completely devoid of galaxies, stars, and even dark matter. What happened here led to the fact that several galaxies simply disappeared. And here the main question arises whether this could have happened anywhere else. The Great Void is a mysterious phenomenon that has puzzled scientists for years. Its huge size and emptiness make it an unusual and fascinating topic to study. This is a huge territory stretching for almost a billion light years. The void itself is estimated to be about 300 million light years across, making it one of the largest voids in the universe. This void is not completely empty in the universe, but it is incredibly sparse compared to other areas of the cosmos. Scientists have been trying to understand what could cause it. The Great Void has been around for many years, and they have put forward several possible explanations. One theory is that the Void was created by the primordial black hole that swallowed up all the galaxies and stars around it. It is believed that the primordial black holes formed in the early moments of the creation of the universe, and they were smaller than ordinary black holes, but could begin as tiny quantum fluctuations in the early universe, which increased as the universe expanded. All the matter around them leaves behind a huge empty space. This may make sense, because we have seen evidence that black holes absorb huge areas of space. Another possible explanation for the Great Void is cosmic strings. Cosmic strings are hypothetical objects that formed in the early moments of the universe's existence. It is believed that these are thin, long, and incredibly dense objects that could have formed during the cooling of the universe. By interacting with matter and gravity in a strange way, causing matter to repel them, he could create vast empty regions of space. For example, 
there would be a huge void between other matter, so there would be no need for dark matter or anything else to occupy this space, which, in turn, was created when matter was displaced from the space in which it was originally supposed to be. Another possibility is that the Great Void is simply the result of cosmic changes. Cosmic dispersion is the idea that the universe is not completely homogeneous on a very large scale, and there are regions that are naturally more empty than others. It's like when you look at a picture, some parts of which are more crowded than others. On a cosmic scale, some areas may naturally be emptier than others for no particular reason, and the Great Void may just be an empty area. This is just one example of such a natural change, but on the other hand, there is also the problem of perspective that arises if we have been looking at everything wrong all this time. The concept of the expansion of the universe was first proposed in the early 20th century by astronomer Edwin Hubble. We observed that the galaxies were moving away from us, and the farther away they were, the faster they seemed to move. This led to the theory that the universe is expanding, but scientists have made an amazing discovery. They found that the universe is not only expanding, but actually accelerating in its expansion. This discovery was made thanks to observations of supernovae, which are exploding stars emitting a known amount of light. By measuring the amount of light coming to Earth from these supernovae, scientists were able to calculate the distance is to them and the speed at which they are moving away from us. This discovery was a big surprise, since it was expected that the force of gravity would eventually slow down the expansion of the universe. Instead, it turned out that an unknown force called dark energy causes the acceleration of dark energy. This is one of the biggest mysteries in modern cosmology. As the universe continues to expand and accelerate, galaxies will eventually become so far away that it will seem that they are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. This is due to the fact that space itself is expanding between us and a distant galaxy, which means that not only will we never be able to reach these galaxies, but we will not even be able to observe them anymore, since their light will never be able to reach us, in fact completely disappearing. The universe we live in consists of countless galaxies, stars, planets, and other celestial objects. But did you know that the oldest light source in the universe is still present today? This light is called the cosmic microwave background, and it fills the entire universe. CMB is a type of electromagnetic radiation that was first discovered by two radio astronomers Arno Penseus and Robert Wilson who study radio waves in space. So what is CMB and where does it come from? CMB is the afterglow of the Big Bang, which is the event that gave birth to our universe about 14 billion years ago. The Big Bang was a powerful explosion that created everything in the universe, including time and space. At first, the universe was incredibly hot and dense, but as it expanded, it cooled down about 400,000 years after the Big Bang. The universe cooled so much that the first atoms were formed, and at that moment light was able to move freely in space. This light eventually evolved into the CMB we observe today. The CMB is like a snapshot of the universe when it was only 400,000 years old. It gives us accurate information about what the universe looked like during its inception. By studying temperature fluctuations in the CMB, we can learn a lot about the early universe. The CMB shows tiny hot and cold areas that are caused by small fluctuations in quantum density that occurred when the universe was young. The first moments after the Big Bang provided cosmologists with a huge amount of data, and they helped support the theory of cosmic inflation. Although the CMB has given us a lot of information about the early universe, it also harbors some mysteries and anomalies. One of these anomalies is the cold spot of the cosmic microwave background, which is a large and unusually cold spot. Many theories have been proposed to explain the CMB cold spot, and almost all of them are very different from each other. One possibility is that it's a statistical fluke, which means it's just a random phenomenon with no particular significance. 
Another possibility is that it is caused by a super void, which is a large empty space in the universe containing less matter than the surrounding areas, similar to the dark void we talked about earlier in the video. Other theories suggest that the cold spot may be evidence of exotic physics, such as the existence of a parallel universe or a cosmic string. And then dark matter is the elusive ingredient that makes up most of the universe, and without it our galaxies would not even exist. Scientists have identified 19 dwarf galaxies, much smaller than our Milky Way, a way that seems to contradict our understanding of how galaxies form. These emissions contain much less dark matter than we ever thought possible. It's not easy to understand how these galaxies became dwarfed. They usually have much more dark matter concentrated in them than in larger galaxies. But these tiny rebels seem to have a different story. Their smaller size leads to a weakening of gravity, which makes it difficult to keep them in rarefied clouds of gas. This usually shifts the mass balance in dwarf galaxies away from ordinary matter towards dark matter, but not with respect to these outliers. Scientists have been conducting research for many years to find out how these galaxies formed, where they came from, and why there is so little dark matter in them. Kyle Ullman, an astrophysicist at Durham University in England, says this new class of galaxies limits our ability to explain all galaxies within a single coherent structure. Scientists around the world are working together because everyone wants to get to the bottom of this mystery. In the year 2016, Ullman and his colleagues identified two galaxies in which dark matter was absent. Some time later, two more strange objects appeared, and now we have only 19 of them. Scientists used data from the Arecibo Radio Telescope in Puerto Rico to weigh dwarf galaxies, observing how fast hydrogen is moving around them. The higher the velocity, the greater the total mass of the galaxy. Then they combined the mass of hydrogen and stars to estimate what part of the mass of each galaxy. In 6% of cases, the total mass of the galaxy is less than the mass of gas and stars. The missing mass is dark matter, which is not surprising, but all 19 dwarf galaxies in question are located about 500 million light years from Earth. Other groups of galaxies will gather in approximately the same area. In these cases, the researchers note, it is possible that their neighbors in the galaxy have somehow pumped out their dark matter. But the other 14 are far away from other galaxies. Either these strange objects were born from a friend, or other things could have happened, such as exploding stars. It was these explosions that disrupted the balance of dark matter and everyday matter. James Bullock, an astrophysicist at the University of California, Orvin, suggests that perhaps it's not the absence of dark matter at all. Perhaps these dwarf galaxies clung to their ordinary matter or even stole some of it. Anyway, this discovery tells us something about the diversity of galaxy formation. The only trick is to figure out exactly what it tells us. This discovery challenges our current understanding of the universe and the vast diversity in galaxy formation. More than previously thought, and that the role of dark matter in this process is more complex than we assumed. This new discovery may lead to a revision of existing models of galaxy formation and evolution. The study of dark matter is an important part of understanding the universe on a larger scale. The more we learn about dark matter and its role in the formation of galaxies, the better we will be able to understand the universe as a whole, including the formation of our own Milky Way. If the threat of the disappearance of galaxies may eventually turn out to be true and within a few hours, if there is even the slightest chance that this may be the case, we need to find ways to get ahead of it so that we can save our galaxy from extinction. Fortunately, right now the threat to us is not imminent, but if it is, then we can save our galaxy from disappearing and becoming practically nothing before it's too late. We are already on the way to finding a solution, but do you think we are really safe? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more similar videos. See you in the next video.